Hello everyone, Stormy Strike here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you my haul from a model horse swap meet that happened here in Southern California. This I believe is actually my first in-person model horse event since Briarfest 2019, so it was really fun and exciting to get to shop for models in person and get to see so many people I haven't seen in quite a long time. It was a lot of fun, and while I was not planning to really buy very much, I still ended up buying quite a few things. So let's jump right into it. I'm just gonna pull things out randomly here in kind of no specific order. But here is a little Blue Ribbon Ranch foal, and he does have a broken ear, so that will either have to be fixed or I'll just probably end up using him as a body. But he is so cute. I actually really like the Blue Ribbon Ranch horses. I used to not really like them, but they've been growing on me lately, and I do think they are quite cute. Next up here, I actually have a paddock pal. This cute little guy is this kind of old style rony white flea bitten gray thing. I honestly don't know what it's supposed to be, but I have a couple models in this color and I just think it is a lot of fun. Not very realistic, but it is fun and I don't know. I thought he was just very cute and he is in nice condition as well. Then I have here, I don't even know exactly what this brand is and the person I bought it from didn't know either. So I'll have to maybe do some digging, see if I can figure out what this is. It reminds me a lot of a North Light resin, which I have a few of those, and this just seems very similar to that style of material. This is a cute little donkey, and he is made of a resin material, and he's kind of heavy even though he's a little guy. And he was just too cute not to get, honestly. I just thought he was so adorable. I love his big eyes, his little fuzzy forehead. Just so cute. I just could not resist having this adorable little donkey. Next is a classic. I've honestly been kind of getting into classics more lately, which I never kind of thought I was going to do. But this is Lancelot, or Lancelot, I'm not sure how you pronounce his name. He's an older Briar Collector Club classic model, and he is just so pretty. Look at his big, beautiful spots. I just think they are so awesome. He's also just such a great price. I was like, okay, I can't help but get this guy because he is too cute. I love his spotting on him, and I do like this mold a lot as well. So he'll make a fun addition to my growing collection of classic or Freedom Series scale models. Then here is a black foundation stallion, which I already have technically like two or three of these guys already, but he was only $10 and I just cannot resist a foundation stallion model that is cheap. I just love this mold and I want to do more customs on it and stuff like that too. So if I see them for a reasonable price, I can't help myself. I have to get myself some of these pretty foundation stallions. Now I have three pretty exciting models to get because I've been wanting them and have not come across them yet. First off here is the Briar Ram and he is gorgeous. I bought him and the next two models I'm going to show you from uh, Caroline Boydston, who is an awesome artist, by the way. And she said this guy just has amazing shading, and he really does. He's got a beautiful, dark shading to him. He looks so awesome. I've been wanting a ram for my Briar Animal Collection, and this guy is just so gorgeous. He is just a perfect, perfect ram to add to my Briar Animal collection. I absolutely adore him, he's so gorgeous. And then another one I've been really looking for is a pronghorn. I've been wanting a pronghorn really badly. And she had this beautiful guy, who is a little hard for me to get in the right frame of the camera here. He is so cute, it is so nicely done as well. Just a beautiful looking model. I love the beautiful markings on his neck. He is so cute. And she said that she's had this guy pretty much since she started collecting, I believe she said. So he has been around for a while. So happy to have a pronghorn in my collection now. And then lastly here, we have 
a mountain goat, which I have also been looking for a mountain goat for my collection. This guy, she also said, is amazing shading. I can already kind of tell that, even without comparing other ones. He's just got amazing, like, coloring on him. Is very, very nicely done. Very rich. Awesome, awesome guy. Look how cute he is. He is so adorable. I do not have any models on either of these three molds, by the way. That's why I'm, like, super excited to finally get a model on each of these molds to add to the other briar animals. So there are those three awesome guys. They are just so incredibly cute and I just adore them so much. Next up here is a medallion. A painted one actually. This is actually my first painted medallion I believe. I don't think I have any pre-painted medallions. I have quite a few uh, blank ones but I don't have any ones that have already been painted. So this is so cute and so perfect for the season. This handsome guy has an adorable little Santa hat on him, and he is this very beautiful, really dark, rich bay with an awesome face marking and really pretty, really nicely done eyes. Does have his artist on the back here, which looks like J.M. Reed, Christmas 2011. I'm not super duper familiar with artist resins and stuff. I do see there is a name on the side here. I don't know if I'm going to be able to read it or not though but I will try to find out which medallion this is and if I figure it out I will put the information of who the sculptor is on screen. And speaking of medallions I'll go ahead and show you guys these as well. I went ahead and bought some of these little blank medallions because they were just a really good price and I just couldn't pass them up. Again I'm not super familiar with medallions so I apologize I'm not going to know the sculptors of all of them. This one I do know is uh, Kylie Parks. I definitely recognize that one. I believe I do have one or two of her other little medallions like this. I'll have to do like a medallion collection tour soon actually. Uh, this one I'm not sure who did it. If I find out again who it is I'll put it on screen. Uh, these Arabian ones I'm not sure. They look familiar. I might be able to figure out who had sculpted those little guys that they're very cute. And then we have another medallion here if I find out who did that one. I'll show you on screen. But these are very cute. I do want to try and practice doing some painting and pastelling and whatever. So I think these little medallions will be fun to try out doing different horse colors and such. Since I'm going on about medallions, let's go ahead and talk about this one as well. This one is a bigger one and kind of the most money I think I've spent on, med on a medallion so far. This is Jingles by Melanie Miller for 2019. This is the version that has the cute little Santa hat on top. It is so adorable and I really actually want to paint this this year for Christmas. I don't know if I'll actually get around to having the time to do that, but I'm really going to try to because I really want to paint this adorable medallion. I just think it is so incredibly cute and just so great to do for the holidays. Next here is a, another classic model, which I don't think I already have this one. This is one of the older Walmart Mustang classics that usually came with like cougars and bears or other horses and stuff. And I just fell in love with this guy's color. It is so pretty. I also do like these uh, molds a lot. The different older Briar Mustang classic molds I think are so cool. He is just so pretty. Look at that beautiful coloring on him. Oh my gosh, I just, when I saw him, I was like, I think I need him. He is too pretty. Again, I don't know what is happening. Why am I getting into classics? I already have too many traditionals and stable mates. I don't need to be getting into classics as well, but just, oh my gosh, look at him. Look at his beautiful face. I absolutely adore him. He is so, so cute. So he is another addition to that uh, growing classic collection I mentioned. And this is Harley who is the uh, one track pony that's like very famous for his beautiful Appaloosa markings. This guy has been around for a while as a regular run. He's kind of one I've always sort of wanted but just never got and I'm really glad I got him. He is super cool. I actually bought him from Outskirts Stables who you might recognize from Instagram or TikTok 
And I just love this guy. I love his striped hooves. I love his Appaloosa markings. I like this mold too. I do have a handful of models on this mold and I think it is really nice. He is a little tippy, but that's all right. We'll fix that somehow. And he is just a very nice boy. So I'm excited to add him to my little Frisian conga that I have going on. This is actually not a model horse, but it is a model dog. This is some kind of German Shepherd resin. I tried to figure out who sculpted this guy, but I couldn't find any information. So if anyone happens to know who did this guy, I'd love to hear it so I can properly credit them. He is very cute, and I'm not really a big resin collector. And I really don't need any more bodies and models to paint, but I figured this guy could be easy enough even if I just painted him black or something. But I just love him, and I think he'll be a really cool addition to my model horse and model dog collection, I guess. I don't have too many model dogs, but he will go in nicely with them. Here's another thing I've been kind of collecting, even though I don't need more things to collect. And that is some of the Briar Carousel horse ornaments. I don't necessarily really like all of them. I have got, I do have a couple already. And I do really like this guy though. I just love his really pretty black and silver parade style saddle on him. I think that is super fun. It's got also some really nice uh, poinsettias it looks like on him. And I just thought he was, he was pretty cute. So once in a while I am going to be picking up some different Briar Carousel Horse ornaments because as I said I don't need any more things to collect but apparently I keep finding new things to collect. Speaking of collecting, I don't really actively collect these anymore but I used to. Bella Sarah cards! These were actually put free by someone, I don't know who, but they uh, put them out kind of like on a free table that was started. And they are just the little card holder things. They don't have any cards in them. But I think these would be perfect for which Bellisera cards I do have. Again, I don't really actively collect them anymore or anything, but I did when I was a kid. I really like these little card holders to put them in, especially Thunder here. I've always really loved Thunder. I'm pretty sure that's his name. We have Bellisera and Thunder there. And then on the back, it shows some of the other characters as well, like Jewel and Fiona. I also have here a fun, very Christmassy themed bracelet that uh, Patty, who was the hair maid, and it says, I love briars, and I just love that it's Christmas themed. So that was a fun little purchase as well. Next up here is kind of an unusual model horse. This is a Sandy Cast quarter horse and it is resin and so it is very heavy <laughs> but I actually do have one little foal that is also a sandy cast resin but it looks kind of different from this. I think he is very cool. I love his coloring and his mold. He's got like really neat kind of I don't know if they're really glass. They're glass or like plastic eyes that kind of really stand out there. I just think he is very cool. I don't really have too many models that are kind of this like show quarter horse look that this guy has. So I think he's just really neat and I feel like he'd look really nice with tack on him. I feel like he's just begging to have at least a show halter or something made for him. I really like him. I've kind of just fallen in love with him. He is so cute and pretty and I really really do like him a lot. All right, we're getting to the end here, and these last purchases actually all ended up being from Ragnag Studios. I didn't realize what was going to be there, and it was super awesome to get to see her there and her work in person. This is an adorable snowman horse ornament she had made, and I just thought it was too cute not to get. And what's really cool, as she pointed out, she actually made the little unicorn horns painted to look like little carrots, like you'd put a carrot on a snowman. And I absolutely love that. That is such a brilliant idea. These guys are very sparkly, as you can hopefully see on the camera. They have a cute little reef and stuff around them. I really just could not resist getting one of them. Also from her here that was in my hand is an adorable Ragnag Studios little art pin here. Little rag pony pin. She also had some other ornaments there, including another Briar Carousel Horse ornament. 
And this is another one where I thought it was just so pretty. Oh my gosh, I love the silver and gold on it. It just really pops. I just like the whole kind of color scheme going on on this one and the design. Very cool. This one is from 2006, and I forgot to mention, I think the other one is from 2005. These ones are like porcelain, so I'm worried about breaking them, but they're very, very pretty. Just gorgeous little carousel horse. We're now on to the final purchase here, which is actually my first purchase. But this is a custom from Ragnag Studios. This is Persephone. And she didn't say exactly what this model is supposed to be in particular, but I just think it is so cool. It's kind of reminds me of like sort of a demon goat like horse thing. I don't know, but I just fell in love with her when I saw her in person. And she ended up just being an impulse buy almost because I was just like, oh my gosh, I love her so much. I think I need her in my life. And I'm so glad I got her. She is so cool. She is on the spirit mold, which I do have a soft spot for too, which could have been a part of the reason why I snatched her up so quickly. She's got a lot of awesome details and customization, like those awesome big horns on her. Her beautiful bright purple eye. I like how much that stands out. It just looks so cool, and I do love purple as well. Her coloring is just really pretty, and she has some really cool looking hooves as well. They are very nicely done cloven hooves and a really cool big long tail. And also, of course, the mane has been redone and has a little bit of a beard and new ears as well. Oh my gosh, just so cool. I don't know. I just really, really like her. She'll definitely be a fun addition to all my fantasy models and such since I've just really gotten into fantasy models. So there is the beautiful Persephone. All right, there is my haul from the Briar Swap Meet or Model Horse Swap Meet, whatever you want to call it. Again, it was super fun. I spent more than I wanted, but I am so, so happy with all of these models. They are so awesome. Let me know in the comments which of these models from this video is your favorite. Have an awesome day, and I will see you in the next video. Bye, everyone.